This is the title for Ant-Man Quantumania. And this, well, this is me, the man who recreated an exact replica of that title. And today, I and my AI computer, Kai, are here to show you how. Plus, we're even giving away a free template for this effect in the description below. Now, in After Effects, the first thing we want to do is arrange our text in its proper placement that best matches the original. For the font, I'm using Inside Man, which isn't exactly perfect, but pretty dang close. Once we have the placement, let's pre-compose everything, naming it full text, and now we can get to creating this texture we see inside the letters. And before we keep going, I just want to say that these bottom layers right here, just ignore those in this tutorial. You don't know anything! So in our main comp, let's create a new solid, and to this solid, we are going to apply a four color gradient. Then apply CC Griddler with the scale around 1890, and the size to 2.3. Then we will add a Lumetri color with the saturation down to zero and contrast to 150. Next, let's apply find edges, checking to invert, then add levels, bringing the input white down to around 62, and then apply CC Collider. Go ahead and take this solid and track mat it to the full text layer. But Austin, I feel like the solid layer could use a touch of blue since the original has that blue tone. Yeah, that wouldn't hurt to add. So let's go ahead and apply another Lumetri color to our solid and bring down the temperature to negative 100 while also dropping the shadows to negative 100. Now let's make sure to turn the text layer back on and set the blending mode for the solid to add. Now with our full text layer, let's apply a gradient that has a touch of dark blue that goes to black. Now let's keyframe the start ramp of the gradient to have it start far away on our first frame and move close to the text a few frames ahead. Next we want to go to the project window and duplicate our full text comp having it be named full text 2 and drop this underneath the full text layer. We've duplicated our layer this way so now we can jump into our full text 2 comp to make changes without affecting our original title text. So the changes we'll want to make is to apply a white stroke 2 pixels thick to every layer. Back in our main comp we can apply a bevel effect to the full text 2 layer with the size around 85 and the softness around 16. Here, we will also want to keyframe the angle so the highlights rotate around the text from top to bottom. We can go ahead and easy ease these keyframes too by selecting them and hitting F9 on our keyboard. And just a heads up, we are going to be applying this easy ease to every single keyframe we have in this edit. Now let's go ahead and duplicate this layer and scale down the sides of the bottom layer. And then let's duplicate the top layer and add an inner shadow with the opacity at 100. Hey, this is Austin Smith while editing this video and please turn off the gradient ramp on this layer too. Thank you. And set the blending mode of this layer to multiple. Multiply. Now on the third text layer, apply an inner glow and set the color to white and keyframe the opacity of the effect to fade in to 40%. And you can see with these techniques, we are getting a compelling 3D effect with our text. So with that, let's go ahead and select all of our text layers, including the solid, pre-compose and name it full text edit. Now I can see my coffee right over there is finished. I'm going to go grab a cup while I'm doing that. I'm going to pass it off to Kai. And if you could whip me up a cup too, I can use a on our full text edit layer, let's apply Lumetri color and keyframe the exposure and shadows, having them start at negative 2.2 and negative 150, and both end up at zero. Now let's go ahead and duplicate the full text edit layer, and on the top layer, let's create a mask that goes through the middle of the text and feather it out. Keyframe the opacity of this layer to fade in, and now let's make changes to the Lumetri color on this layer. Let's go ahead and bring down the temperature to negative 50, and on our second keyframe for the exposure, let's bring it up to 1.5. Pre-compose these two layers, naming them full text final. And with this layer, keyframe the scale to have it get bigger over time. So with that done, we can move on to creating the quantum mania text effect. Now for the font of this, you can grab T.26 Carbon from Adobe Fonts, which we're only going to use for the letter N. The other letters will be using T-W-C-E-N-M-T. I have no idea what kind of font name that is. Let's move on. We can type out a word in our main comp and make these adjustments, framing up the text where it needs to end up as well. Now select the Animate drop-down window on the text layer and click Tracking. Keyframe the tracking amount to start at zero and end around 15. Then let's go ahead and add a gradient ramp to the text using dark blues and then duplicate this layer. On the bottom layer, delete the gradient effect and add a white stroke to the text, three pixels, <laughs> three pixels thick. So after looking at this, I do actually want to adjust the gradient to have lighter tones of blue. Now let's go ahead and duplicate the bottom Quantumania text layer. And like what we did with the Ant-Man text, let's scale down its sides. Next, we want to add another stroke effect to the second Quantumania text layer using layer styles. For the color, let's go ahead and use this eyedropper tool to grab a light blue here. After this, make sure the bottom Quantumania text layer is white and apply a bevel to it. Now let's go ahead and grab the shape tool and draw three long white bars across our text. Then one large black one right underneath. Pre 
superimpose these shapes, naming it Qshine, and track mat this layer to the bottom Quantumania text layer. Move Qshine layer to be right over top of the bottom Quantumania text layer, set its blending mode to add, apply some Gaussian blur, and adjust its opacity as you see fit. Lastly, make sure the bottom Quantumania text layer is turned back on and pre-compose all the text layers, including that Qshine layer. I said Quantumania right there far too many times. So with that, we are almost done. So let's take a quick wisdom break. Second Corinthians chapter five, verse 21 reads this right here. God made him who had no sin become sin for us so that in him we might become the righteousness of God. So what can we learn from this verse? Well, we can learn that Christianity is not a merit-based belief system, okay? It's not about if I do good, if I put out good, then I'm going to get good back, right? And how do we know this is because the only one who really was good being Jesus Christ, he died a horrific, shameful death on the cross and he's the example. He's the one that we're supposed to follow. God never promises the Christian the easy life where good stuff is always gonna be happening to us. But what he does promise is peace that surpasses all understanding. And I promise you, in the end, that is worth everything. That's worth more than any worldly thing that we could strive for. Okay, so back in After Effects, let's select the Quantumania text layer that we've pre-composed and duplicated to have 11 layers total. You heard me right. And with all these layers, we wanna mask out one letter for each layer. Once we finish this, we can keyframe the mask path so the mask move with the letters. After this is complete, select all the layers and make them 3D. Move a few frames forward from the beginning and set keyframes for the position of all the layers. And then back on the first frame, adjust the Z position of all the letters except the middle U. Now let's go ahead and add a camera into our composition, getting it positioned, and then keyframe its movement along the Z axis so it pulls away from the U, revealing the rest of the letters. Lastly, we can keyframe the rotation of the middle U so it starts crooked and straightens up at the end. And then select all our quantum mania layers and pre-compose. I'm also going to label this new composition green because why not? Also, my mouth is getting very dry, so let me just take a sip of my drink. Oh, good call. <sighs> yeah, that's good. Okay. With this pre-composed layer, let's duplicate it, and on the top layer, let's apply a fill, a simple choker, and a find edges, again with the invert selected. Set this layer's blending mode to add, and with the choker, we can adjust the size of the outline. If we wanted to make this line thicker, we can always add some Gaussian blur right underneath the find edges effect. Let's change the fill color to a neon blue, and lastly apply a glow effect, adjusting the radius and intensity, and then duplicating it, bringing up the radius and down the intensity on this duplicated effect. So now let's go ahead and duplicate this top Quantumania text layer and shift it forward one frame. Do this a few more times, having each layer be a lesser opacity. So as these duplicates appear, they will be fading out. Now let's keyframe the opacity of these layers so they will fade out as we let the real blue text fade in, which is our bottom Quantumania text layer here. So the final thing I did was add some background footage that I got from Motion Array and then some flares that I got from Video Copilot's plugin Optical Flares, which gave us this final result. Hello? Uh, da, 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 da. Okay, so it's been about a week since I did that edit that you were just watching. It's 5 a.m. right now, Kai is asleep, but I just noticed that the final trailer for Ant-Man added a new element to the title, this like glowing neon edge effect. So let's go ahead and add that into. First, we'll jump into the full text edit composition and add a new solid, naming it Outline and apply the Saber plugin to it. Now duplicate the second full text layer and remove all of its effects from it. And then with it selected, go to Layer, Auto Trace. Check Current Frame and hit OK. Doing this will give us a new layer on top that has created masks that shape out our title. So in the Outline layer, go to the Saber effect and in the Customize Core, change the core type to Layer Mask. Now copy and paste all the masks in the top layer that we have just created and paste them on the Outline layer. Adjust the glow intensity, spread, bias, and size so it's not to be blown out. And keyframe the start offset to start at zero and end at 100 just a few frames ahead. Lastly, make sure to go to render settings within the Saber effect and change the composite settings to transparent. And that leaves us with this. Now, if you want to learn how to stab your hand with a knife, Kai will direct you to that video. It has been great having you, and I will see you in the next one. I just realized Kai's asleep. So I guess YouTube, the YouTube will show you. Kai, how are we doing?